welcome back to Zig Wheels and say hello to the brand new Hyundai Aura. This of course is the compact sedan that's based on uh, the brand i10 Neos and it is pretty evident from the face right I mean the projector headlamps are exactly the same. The grille treatment is the grille is actually slightly wider and if you notice the DRLs you get two daytime running lamp elements uh, instead of one there's projector fog lamps it's got the air curtain thingy as well for improved aerodynamics and uh, if I move to the side so yeah you see that roof line sloping down and into a notch back kind of rear but I'll get to that in a bit first let me show you the wheels these are 15 inch alloy wheels 17560 r15 this particular car has MRF ZV TVs eco tread tires and uh, Again, just running you through the profile, the same mirrors as the Neos. You've got keyless entry, chrome elements on the door handle there. And if you're wondering why uh, this particular car has like pitch black tints, that's because we're not allowed to see the interior justice yet. So I can't take you through that. Um, very interesting element here, like I said, in the form of the C pillar being blacked out. But I think it needs that because otherwise, imagine that in body color that slope i think it's going to look a bit weird sorry the camera is losing focus there we go right uh dead rear yeah that's a super interesting profile i think that's the kindest word i can use right now um it looks very interesting we haven't really seen this connected element in um, India before uh, of course we'll see it with the new Werner we'll see it with the new Creta but the aura debuts that for uh, Hyundai India at least uh, closer look at the bumper you've got a set of reflectors here some blacked out bits for that spotty touch camera stuck the way right there the use of a little bit of chrome a little bit of piano black uh, some 3d effect going on on the tail lamp the C pattern that you see here uh, that is for uh, the LED guide light basically so you've got LED tail lamps on offer as well uh, up there shark fin antenna and uh, so yeah this particular sticker here 1.2 top M5 uh, that it's not an M5 uh, it's got three engine options it's got a 1.2 liter petrol it's got a 1.2 liter diesel and it's got a 1 liter turbo petrol from the venue now the 1.2 litre petrol is the same as the Neos BS6, roughly 85 horsepower. The 1.2 engine, it makes the same power as the old engine but Hyundai is saying it's brand new, it's called EcoTorque and uh, the 1 litre engine in essence is the same as the venue but it makes 20 horsepower less, 100 PS and instead of a 6 speed manual, it gets a 5 speed manual. Now even if I really 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 try, yeah, oh you can sort of see in but I think I'll sort of respect that. Um, the cabin is going to be pretty much the same as the Grand i10 Neos. So the feature list is pretty much the same. Um, leather wrap steering, uh, leather wrap gear knob, a touchscreen infotainment system, wireless charging, automatic climate control, all of that. And in terms of rear seat room, Hyundai is claiming it's going to be among the best in class, about 805 millimeters of rear knee room. What they've done is they've uh, elongated the seat base tilted it up a bit so that uh, under thigh support isn't an issue as well so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly wrap up this video of the hyundai aura let us know what you think about this compact sedan this desire amaze rival uh, that's going to hit the market very very soon uh, as far as prices are concerned i think it's going to be pretty much on par with the xn give or take 20 to 30 thousand here and there uh, and i expect um, the turbo petrol to be especially fun because uh, finally the Tigor JTP has a proper proper rival. So uh, that's it for the Hyundai Aura. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.